Hello everyone and welcome back to Draw with Guy. Now this week I'm going to show you how I draw a penguin. I'm going to show you how I draw Pip Pip from The Brave Little Penguin. It's written by Giles Andre. It's got a lovely sparkly cover this copy. I've done quite a few books with penguins in. And this one, Turkey Little Penguins, which is all about these penguins, written by Tony Mitten. These penguins going out to play in the snow, sliding around on the ice, doing also I think snowball fights. They find a little seal pup who's very sad, and they cheer the seal pup up, up by playing lots of games. And then the seal pup's lost her mum, and then they see something coming through the water, speeding towards them. Can you see it in there? They all get very scared. What do you think it will be? I'm not going to tell you. I have to get the book to find out. So, oh, I need to get my piece of paper. So all you need for this is a pencil and a piece of paper. Um, I'm actually going to use this brush again because it gives a nice deep line, a thicker line, so it's easier for you to see if you use a pencil. But um, you can use a, a pencil easily. Okay, so Pip Pip is actually a lovely round shape. And so you start off with a lovely round shape. Let's go around to about there, because I'm going to add a little wing coming off here. Yeah, so do a little triangle for the wing. And you can carry on the round shape a bit more. And uh, let's carry on this side of the circle. Don't, this goes around to about there. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly round. Got a few lines. Very on there. And then another wing coming up here, this triangular shape. Okay. Now for this particular sort of penguin, we've got sort of markings. Do a sort of circle at the top of the head. Do a sort of line coming around like that. And put the eyes in one about there. And the other one about there. Now Pip Pip's gonna be looking up, she's got a little beak. So do a little triangle for the beak, like that. There we go. And some eyebrows, one there, one there. Now for the legs, doing sort of one leg coming down like this. I'm doing sort of triangular shape. I think I'm going to have to do slightly feathery at the bottom. There's one, and then the other one's going to come from behind here. It's a little bit higher than there. She's got her feet coming across. She's got three sort of toes. These are flippers, really, aren't they? One, two, three. I was quite stuck about how to do this penguin for the book. And then I saw a little sculpture in a museum in France by Picasso, this round owl. And I thought, oh, I'd do a little round penguin, because I wanted Pip Pip to look different to other penguins that are out there in other books. And I thought it would make her look cute as well. It's not him, it's Pip Pip the boy. Um, okay, now it's got, they've got a marking which goes round like that, and sort of round like that. So it's like a heart shape, this shape. This bit goes behind there, so it's going to about there above the eye, and it comes around a little bit in there. Well, let me show you how I colour that in later. So, where should we put um, Pip Pip? What about on an ice flow? So for an ice flow, draw some jaggedy lines like this. Doesn't really matter how they go. So I'm going across. This is going to be the ice flow on the water. Now draw some lines coming down, more or less the same length. Like that. And it's going to be dipping in the water. Now you want a line along the same direction is this line, and it's slightly wavy because it's in the water. It's a bit longer that one. One coming down like that. There we are. I'm just going to do little lines like here, the water lapping around the edges of the ice flow. Like that. Yeah, there. There he is on an ice flow. Now let's do the horizon line. I often, I've been doing this for a lot of these drawings because it gives it a sense of space behind it. You draw a nice straight line, quite a light line, don't make it too heavy. 
and it's got some icebergs and for icebergs they can be all sorts of amazing shapes it's just an incredible shape in the water let's do one floating as well <clears throat> and that's sort of like that straight across with some movement lines there we are now what else should we add now to show it's really cold she had a few snowflakes shall i show you how i do snowflakes snowflakes have got six arms so you do three lines crossing over each other one it's going to be about a third of the way along two three and then do little v's coming in it gives you a nice snowflakey shape do you want to try another one over here don't forget if i'm going too fast you can just pause and start it again if you're watching this on youtube Flakes are falling. There you go. Let's do some little snowflakes, those little round dots falling down as well. There we are. It looks like it's snowing now. A few dots, maybe one's in front of her there, one there. Lovely! So there you have Pip Pip. I'm just going to show you how I put shadows into things just to make them a bit clearer, but you don't have to do this. Um, but so maybe for slightly older children and mums and dads doing it, they could join in. So I just draw, I like to put some water down first. A little puddle of water, put them about the right shape, and then just drop in a little bit of ink like that. I'm going to just Little, little bits of ink in the shadows. A little shadow on the beak there. There's some lines here just of the water. Maybe a few little lines in the water. Getting smaller as we go away. And that's it. Now, this particular sort of penguin has got a slightly grey colouring around here. Oh, I can't go in there because that's a snowflake. I've got to draw around that one. I'm just wetting this area. So I'm going to make this a slightly grey colour. For this emperor ch penguin chick. Is it emperor? I think it's an emperor penguin. I don't know. I can't remember. It's a while ago I did it. I have to look up what all different penguin chicks look like. I've done all sorts of different penguins in Playful Little Penguins. I did Adelie penguins, Emperor penguins, King, I think it's King penguins. Um, I think there are 13 different sorts of penguin. All the chicks look a little bit different. There we are. A bit more shadow in there. A few little lines coming down for the markings. Shadow on here. And there you have. I would have added a few more shadows in there, I think, if I had a bit more time. And there you have Pip Pip. You're an artist. Well done. See you next time. <laughs>